morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Jose Luis Susero. I'm going to explain the Bohr model, the drawing of the Bohr model for an atom, okay? Um, I'm a software engineer and we make software. We make programs. And the idea that uh, we must use is the idea of algorithm. An algorithm is a series of steps that makes you some task easier. You have to only follow the steps to make it. I'm an expert in that, in following steps. And if you follow the steps, the computers are very good following steps, easy steps. If you do it the same way, you always get what you want, okay? You only have to apply the steps properly. So, for everything I do, I make some steps. Okay, to clean the house, I make my, I have my steps. First, I go to the bathroom, then I go to the living room, then I go to the bedroom, then and I go doing one thing at a time. That's very important, one thing at a time. I don't try to clean everything. First to the bedroom, then, and so on. So, there's an algorithm for many things in life. One. If I'm going to show you how to do the Bohr model, I'm going to show you an algorithm. First step, you make the electronic configuration. Second one, I'm going to name it number of electrons per level. Three, number of neutrons, and four, draw. Okay, I'm going to do three examples, okay? Three. The easier one is going to be hydrogen, okay? You got to look at the periodic table and see the numbers in the hydrogen. Uh, you got a one here. That is atomic number. And here you got another one with some decimals that are not important right now. Okay, this is the mass number. So I'm going to write down this is the atomic number and this is the mass number. The atomic number is the number of protons a P, and electrons, an E. And the mass number is the number of protons plus neutrons. Okay? We're going to use it on step three. That's very important. You're going to find it, depending on the table, in different places. Okay? Here, you have it here and here, but maybe in your book. In your book are here and here. It depends on the book. which is the electronic configuration for hydrogen. One, S1, okay? Electrons per level. I made a little table with level, number of electrons. For me, electrons is an E, okay? It has just one level with one electron on it, okay? Number of neutrons. Number of neutrons is I put an N, I can make a little equation, N is atomic number, C, mass number, and A is so for hydrogen it would be 1 minus 1, 0. It means it has no neutrons on the nucleus, okay? 
and finally a drawing. To make it easier, the drawing may be like this. You draw the nucleus, and inside the number of protons and the number of neutrons, okay? Not to have to draw too many balls in there. And then you have just one level with one electron, okay? I'm going to stop the video and make another one.